referee, guest official tonight in tonight's contest. He'll be wearing number 77 as you see him walking just past us a moment ago. He'll officiate the second quarter of this particular contest. So it'll be fun to see a former player. He'll be the fourth former player. Definitely broadcasters. But officials, I mean, you don't see this often. He's getting some pointers right now from Monty McCutcheon, who's the head of the officiating crew here with the NBA. And he's going to need some pointers. He's taking this very seriously. That's by the, the way. first smiles. Hey, what's going on? I'm Richard Jefferson, and we are at NBA Summer League. We are at referee training. More to come. Our guest here, Rich, and that Thank you. Richard Jefferson is here with the ESPN. The next one, keep going now. Okay? You ready for this one? This is absolutely better. Year one after this. We have Martin again. This is one of the most eye-opening things I've ever been a part of. Like on the basketball side, because they don't ever teach us. It's totally like, hey guys, it's the point of emphasis for the day, but you don't realize how they get to the point of emphasis, how things are called. So I just want to tell you guys I appreciate you guys and what you guys do. And I look forward to it, all right? <laughs> there amongst the officials. Very different Richard Jefferson in that room than what I became accustomed to watching on a court. Yeah, my guess is he wasn't so <laughs> kind of keels. Oh, wide open look here. Misses there, rebound. Quentin Rose misses that one. Randall. It's a screen from Alexander. Gets it to Ross. Ross drives into the paint, throws one up. Can't get anything near the net there. And the Knicks fans are loving it. Now, Richard Jefferson officiating a Knicks game is also fascinating on a number of <laughs> levels as well. All right, and the Knicks fans are giving it to him. As they should, be decisive over there. You know. What are we doing? <laughs> so let's welcome in Monty McCutcheon who's joined Richard Jefferson's yeah. performance so far. It's clear that he's overthinking some things and that's very natural for a first time referee. You, you can have paralysis by over analysis yeah. and we talked about that and there's going to take some moments for him to get his mind to to feel free enough to make some decisions um but i'm happy you often try to see too much seeing little parts of a lot but not a lot of little things that are your responsibility he needs to put the hand up for the three-pointer he forgot to do that one when randall hit that three another check <laughs> Listen, I'm a tough grader. I'm going to grade him with Monty here. I, I don't know if he's going to have another game in him in the summer league. <laughs> I, I think he's going to be taken out of the rotation. Well, there he goes. He put the arm up this time. He might have hurt Part me. of our responsibility <laughs> is, is evaluation. Uh, for Randall's three. Come on, Richard. He made a good position adjustment there. <laughs> I do like the adjustment. As, as I said, because the game is moving so fast, his mind was able to make the position adjustment, but it didn't then follow through with the, the hand going up. Yeah, I mean... He had plenty of time there, Monty, to put the hand up. Okay? No, but that's not how your mind works. When it starts getting locked up, it's hard to move on to the... This is actually not that unusual for a player to transition into being an official. We were discussing this, George. You know, yeah. Hayward, uh, uh, Hayward Workman. Workman was one of those Leon guys. Leon Wood is on our staff yeah. right now. And Absolutely. Bernie Fryer back Bernie in the day. Bernie Fryer. Yeah. And we've had several that have been in our program and then chose to do other things. Right. Um, you know, we, we're always open to, to players pursuing this. Um, as a career, uh, we, we try to take a look at all of our candidates. Uh, you know, we have a scout team that goes out and looks at, you know, in excess of thoughts on some of the toughest calls and, and how they evolve when we come back. We'll do that when we get back. White ball. No, white ball. White ball. White ball. White ball. Here's Sims goes up, off oh, the yeah. glass and in, gets the foul, will go Richard. to the free throw line. Ah, uh, Richard had a whistle there. I would have liked to have seen him take that foul to the table. He's going to get to handle the free throws here. Jericho Sims take it to the cup. With no, the I think he did everything right. He did it right. You know, okay. I think Cheryl had a, had, they had a double whistle on a play right in the paint. I think that I would have loved to have seen Richard be a little more assertive and take that call and get his first presentation to the table, you know. <laughs> That's and, when you really arrive. Yeah, you know, but he did a great job. He saw the play correctly, and, and he had a defensive foul. He's shiny out there. <laughs> I'll let that. Uh, y all I mean, he's easy. 
I know I forgot that. I did it the second time. I did it this I did it the second time. That time I did it. There's our guy Richard Jefferson officiating this second quarter. Two minutes and 43 seconds to go here as the Knicks are up five with Brandon Williams at the free. The shirt's too tight, pants are too tight. Bad look. Yeah, I hear you. That. I hear you on that. Richard passed that test flying. I, I need to lose like 10 pounds to do that. Keon Johnson can't get that one to fall, but a whistle as he hits the deck. Three point game, by the way, since Bonnie came here, this one became a game. <laughs> yeah. Richard's talking to the crowd. I think that's allowed. I mean, yeah, we yeah. see that occasionally. I love it. I love it. I love it. He is soaking it all in. <laughs> Oh, we got Tibbs over there getting in the act. Tibbs giving him grief. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, you need to tell to the three pointer on the way. That one's short. Nice rebound there by Jabari Walker, and he gets hammered. Let's take a look at Grimes. I mean, he is just pulling up from everywhere, JC. Very confident in his decisions and when to take a shot. High field. <laughs> and here we go. RJ getting a round of applause. Knicks fans giving it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, it's just with Quentin Grimes, this is what was expected and demanded of him, quite honestly, when he arrived here. Allen's in there and has won several times. Here's Grimes again. And the foul. Ten on that one. The officials are, and Richard is saying there is a foul. He's finding himself in a fire right now. Look at Katie George smiling at it all right there, just <laughs> admiring the mess. I caught you over there, just laughing. Katie, what, what was he saying over there? <laughs> Did I do okay? No, I'm just kidding. He wasn't asking for affirmation. <laughs> So I still, I don't think, this is good educational stuff for Richard. That way when he's doing the broadcast, to your point, he has uh, some empathy for the officiating crew. But we've got ourselves a fun one After here. After review, the contact occurred with point six on the game clock. Sims will shoot two free throws. There you go. Sims will go to the free throw line to try to give the Knicks the lead before we head to the lot after that foul. Giving it to Richard. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that might have been the Richard comment, like, hey, I, I don't know what I signed up for. <laughs> uh, so this one for the tie. And nope, can't get it. Walker with the rebound, and we will go into halftime. The Trailblazers with a one-point lead, 37-36. to 36. At the half, Monty McCutcheon will be in here to break down Richard's performance with Richard with a...